The Little Mermaid just swam in the theaters this weekend. It's making an absolute splash in the box office. I just got done seeing it, so let's dive right in. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? I'd like to welcome you back to the Ace Avenue. I am yours, truly the Ace, and I am back with another spoiler-free review to The Little Mermaid. And before I get started, let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about this movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And also, let me know what you thought about where this ranks amongst your Disney live-action adaptations. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm excited to talk about this, so here are my thoughts. So, here are my thoughts. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Now, growing up, I was never really the biggest Little Mermaid fan. Seen it about a handful of times. It was never really high on my Disney watch list. So when I found out they were making this movie, I was excited to see what direction they were going to take it and if it translated well to the big screen. And after watching it, I have to say, I genuinely enjoyed it. I had a good time. It was fun. It was entertaining. Halle Bailey absolutely killed this role. She is the shining star in this movie. I'm going to get more into her when I get into the good section. But before I get into that, I'm going to say... We all know there's a lot of controversy around this movie. Uh, people were not excited when they race swapped the character. Me personally, I never had a problem with it. But I'm going to tell you guys this. If you don't like it, it's as simple as do not watch it. With all the issues that I do have in this movie, and there aren't a lot, she is not one of them. She absolutely killed this role, and she made the movie worth watching. So enough about that. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the good. Halle Bailey is the reason to go see this movie. Absolute phenomenal job in the role of Ariel. The way she was able to capture her curiosity, her naivete, and the way she was just full of energy, in my opinion, she portrayed Ariel perfectly. I love how she's able to capture Ariel's infatuation with this whole new world by using expressive eyes. Even in scenes where she can't communicate due to losing her voice, she's still able to convey the message and tell a story with her eyes and facial expressions. You can tell exactly what she's thinking and it works well with her chemistry with Eric. Halle Bailey's vocals were on full display in this movie. That girl could sing. Her voice is perfect for this movie. Up where they walk, up where they run. She did a phenomenal job. Every time one of the original songs came on, I found myself getting goosebumps in the theater and it put a smile to my face. For me, the songs are the reasons I love watching these movies. Each song is so iconic and they transcend the movies themselves. So to be able to see them on a big screen, executed the way they are, brings your childhood to life. I enjoyed it. And she, that along with her acting ability and her vocal display, definitely the best parts of this movie. I like the cast of this movie, great chemistry. Really good chemistry between Ariel and Eric. I like how they were able to flesh out these characters a little bit more, adding extra scenes. Uh, definitely thought that was a good job. Melissa McCartney, great job as Ursula. Very dark at times, humorous as well. She was what the scene required, and to me, she was the perfect casting for Ursula. I can't see anybody else playing that role. She knocked it out the park, and definitely one of the best parts of this movie as well. Lastly, I was surprisingly shocked by the cinematography in this movie. The transitions and how they were able to move from scene to scene, to me, was paced really well and kept me thoroughly engaged. So that's something that I loved about it as well. So let's move on to the bad. Some of the problems I had with this movie were the same problems that I had with The Lion King. It seems like Disney's using the same formula. Let's add some extra scenes that you kind of don't really need just to kind of seem like it pads the runtime. Also, the extra songs that they added were horrible in my opinion. That song with Aquafina had me making this face the entire time. It was cringy as anything to me. It was horrible and it definitely took me out of the movie. It just felt unnecessary if you ask me. Like, you already have the entire blueprint laid out for you with the animation. Why deviate from that at all? Like, but sometimes it can work. Aladdin, it worked for me. Lion King didn't work. And in this movie, it did not work. Another thing I didn't like, Sebastian and Flounder looked terrible. The CGI wasn't the best on them. The underwater sequences to me were fine. Going into this movie, a lot of people were criticizing it. Um, that's what I was hearing. But with a $250 million budget, you can't expect Avatar The Way of Water or Wakanda Forever. To me, it looked fine and it didn't take me out of the movie, but those two characters definitely did. Now, they had good moments, but overall, to me, they just looked horrible. And the problem is the same thing with Lion King. It's hard to have photorealistic characters emote enough for us to be able to connect with them on the big screen, and it just didn't work. Some people, it may be for you guys, but, but for me, it just wasn't for me. It just looked terrible. 
But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Had a great time watching it. I give it about a solid 7.5 out of 10. Easily one of the better Disney live adaptation movies out there. So definitely check it out. I can't wait to see this movie again with my niece. People can complain all they want. At the end of the day, I'm just glad my niece can watch these characters that look like us. It wasn't until I was an adult when Miles Morales drops, which coincidentally drops this Thursday. I'm excited to see Across the Spider-Verse. I will be making a spoiler-free review for that. It wasn't until he dropped that I felt properly represented. So I'm just glad that she wakes up and she can see these characters that look like her. And I just want to give a shout out to Disney for making these dreams come true. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you haven't done so, hit the like, hit the subscribe, drop a comment. Keep it respectful, guys. We keep it respectful but drop a comment and subscribe ring the bell to the ace avenue for more videos like this appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in i'm the ace adios